In this week's release from IHME, we have changed our uh, key metric from reported deaths to the total number of COVID deaths. And that means that up till present, the number of deaths that COVID has caused in the world is about 6.9 million. So all the numbers that we are now forecasting into the future are for total COVID deaths, uh, correcting for underreporting. That means that up to date, we have uh, already have COVID this week as the number one cause of death in the world. And it also means that the number of deaths uh, that we're observing so far up to present is um, around about 30,000 deaths a day from COVID. Now, if we look around the world, the main uh, areas of uh, change or, or driving the epidemic, of course, is the epidemic in India. Uh, it also seems to be, uh, you know, epidemics unfolding in Nepal, spreading perhaps into some of the other re countries in Southeast Asia, but primarily the global epidemic is being driven by what's unfolding in India. We think that uh, India infections may be at a peak this week. Uh, that is what our models suggest. And that because there's so few people left in, in many states uh, that have not been infected, that uh, we're starting to get some breaks on transmission from um, just the, 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 the small fraction of the population that remains uh, susceptible. Meaning that uh, unfortunately, we expect the death toll in India to keep rising because of the lag between infection and death probably for the next two to three weeks. Uh, and we expect the death toll uh, to, to get much higher at the, uh, and so that the epidemic as India unfolds, of course, is, is the primary global concern. In Brazil and in some of these current countries around Brazil, the P1 epidemic in aggregate may have reached its uh, peak. Uh, there's some good suggestion that in many parts of South America, cases are actually flat or maybe even coming down. Deaths are likely to follow suit. And we're seeing in Europe and in North America, while there are some countries where transmission is still uh, intensifying, that in aggregate, the developments that we have been seeing for many weeks now of expanded vaccination, uh, declining seasonality are pushing down transmission, bringing down cases, hospitalizations, and deaths. It does suggest that in the Northern Hemisphere, excluding uh, India, that we expect the Northern Hemisphere summer to get down to quite low levels of uh, transmission. And in India, we expect the peak to go into a decline, but that decline will be slow-ish. And we will still see, unfortunately, very considerable um, cases and deaths extending for many weeks into the summer, uh, but coming off this extreme high that we're seeing uh, in the month of May. In aggregate, by September 1st, uh, we are expecting at the global level to see 9.4 million cumulative deaths uh, from COVID. And that's an extra nearly two and a half million deaths uh, from now until September 1st.